Now to a follow-up on a small business owner who couldn't apply for the Federal Paycheck Protection Program, or PPP, because of his criminal background. Two months ago, we introduced you to Troy Parker. Well, since then, things have changed. In our ongoing series, The Rebound, to help you recover from the impact of the ongoing pandemic, WCPO 9 News reporter Lisa Smith updates us on how Parker's persistence has paid off. When we last talked to Troy Parker in April, he was coping with the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on his business. Dozens of his workers were laid off and questions on this PPP application didn't allow someone with a criminal background to apply like him. As you know, um, I have bank fraud uh, conviction, but that was 10 years ago. But Parker doesn't take no for an answer. That's how he's built his company to have $2.2 million in revenues last year. You have to be willing to, to you know, go tirelessly until you get what you're, af what you're after in the right way. So he reached out to the African American Chamber, Congressman Steve Shabbat, Senator Sherrod Brown and Senator Rob Portman. Portman sent this letter to Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and the head of the Small Business Administration, saying business owners with criminal records who have turned their lives around shouldn't be denied. The application was changed and Parker's denial became an approval. Since the, you know, the application has changed, it, it went, went easily through the system. So then we were able to get the PPP, which should be around $200,000. The money will help Parker actually expand his innovative labor and cleaning services business, which mostly employs people returning to the workforce from incarceration or drug abuse. So it's gonna allow us to bring on more people. We're now back up to 70 employees. Parker says in his case, it made a difference working with a smaller bank. He says it also helped that he never gave up. Doing tiny steps, I mean, I would make phone calls, I'd send email, so stay persistent. And then over time, you know, things just align for you to, you know, to get funding. Lisa Smith, WCPO, Nine News. Parker received his approval and funding days before PPP expired. By the way, Congress has already passed another extension now. It's waiting for the president's full signature. You can read more details about this story and other rebound stories on our website, WCPO.com.